They used to get on their knees and lift their hands up to pray. Yes. But all we do is bow our heads. So if you all bow your heads, close your eyes, go ahead. Father, I thank you so much for this night. You bless us with four things for our health, for the food, and fellowship, for as you would bless the service, Lord, that you just came to reveal yourself in more and more powerful ways. Change this, Lord, make us more like you, Lord, and just uh, bless us. Uh, of course, why is he speaks, Lord, and whoever else is speaking, and bless Bridget, um, also, Lord, and pray for you, 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 Lord, and pray for praise. You guys, thank you, Jesus, by the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Now, does the Lord inhabit our praise? Yes, he does. How about that? Did you know that? As we're worshiping, as we're praising him, he inhabits us. And he's a hero. Just because we're singing to him. Let's go. We've got this in the list. Let's worship him.
hardship. when you realize that you belong to the Lord Jesus Christ and that even while you were yet sinners, he died for you. Amazing. He demonstrates his love to us when we are his enemies. He demonstrates his love to us while we're his friends. He demonstrates his love to us while we're his children. Wow. It's pretty amazing when you stop and think. A lot of times we like to blame him. Why did this happen, Lord? Why did that happen, Lord? But really, we don't think about how he protects us and how he directs us and how he guides us from the simplest things, from the littlest things. But we can just know that no matter what happens, nothing can take us from his great love. Nothing can take